How is everyone doing? Alright, let's get into the story, shall we? Yes, don't mind me, I'm just very much tired. It's fine. Hey, Hassel. How you doing? I see the TV emote. First things first, y'all don't get nudes. No nudies. No, no nudies for you. No, no, no. Y'all get the nunified version of the game. Yeah, we gotta hide the danglies. See, we gotta hide the dangle bits. I literally stop stream. <laughs> Wait, what? No nudies. That's it. I'm falling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. All right. So, I literally stopped stream this time without talking to anyone. Books. Uh, my internet had died. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna save the game. Not talk to anybody. Then we can go through all of this. But not do everything. So this is probably gonna be a shit ton of dialogue for this first section. Hey Zorg, how you doing? Welcome. <laughs> no no no, du Duval always wants nudie. What do you mean? Adorable fuckers in chat today. Look at y'all. All right. So we defeated Kethrick. Found out that the Absolute is an Elder Brain. Uh, that's something. All right. Let's see what Bull's got to say. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. What do you mean, Ruter? Everyone is, everyone's cute, Ru. Come on, man. Everyone's cute. Everyone's adorable. You know what? Let's, let's change it up. Everyone is fucking immaculate today. What's up? <laughs> Come on, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta spread some positivity today, you know? Being kind of positive doesn't cost a goddamn thing. We can spread it to even a person. Uh, the Absolute's cult has Raven Guard. Taken. Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's army's on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Well, I mean, Gortash is already pretty much it. Already being an Absolute champ today. <laughs> Look at your room. Look at Rue. How are you doing today? I am extremely fucking tired, but it's fine. I caught up. Okay. I'm recording the dirty games. I was recording Mirror today. Yes, the cursed game I said I would never touch again, and then I got cursed with the fucking DLC. 
I had to replay it. All eight of the original girls. To get enough money to buy the f upgrades so that I can blast through the DLC. Okay, that was... Well, you know what I mean. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I am done with the original eight. I even 100%ed their... I guess... story sex scene? I 100%ed it. It's done. I'm finished with it. Uh, so now... We are at the DLC. So one of them I kind of have my suspicions about. I don't think she... But anyway. That, that has been my thing for the last while. When I, because I have been going to bed at... 9? 10 a.m.? Since Monday? Oh, yeah. This is my... Oh. Alright. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. It's been making sleep hell. That's all. Mazora said... Mazora said you can say what led to your pact in exile. This time I know them. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? <laughs> the place could burn to cinder for all I care. Okay, alright. We're doing a good boy play. We're gonna be nice. I'd give my life if it meant keeping the residence safe. As would I. And more. Hey, you I gave up your soul. Father, older Raven Guard had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon made its move. What's the feeling? Uh, what's the cult of the dragon? Never heard of them. Wait, isn't it each of dragons? Why do I feel like that That might be that? Or am I just entirely wrong? Oh wait, this takes place... Yeah, this takes place after. Oh my god, Hardy, let's do tomorrow, tomorrow karaoke. Why do you want me to do a karaoke stream? What, what is this? Why is this a thing? I've already done karaoke before. My anxiety didn't like it. <laughs> What's the cult of the dragon? I've never heard of it. A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses. Oh, yeah. The dragon Tiamat. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper oh, as God. I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill. The queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Okay, well, it's unbelievably fun, though. But real life karaoke is even funnier. Yeah, no, because then you don't have all the fucking things of getting your streams possibly nuked out of existence and strikes on your name. Um, I don't know what would even sing on Twitch, because remember, Twitch is a bitch these days. Yeah, sure, let's see what In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved. And a massive orb held in its mouth. <coughs> the cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul, and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. Her. 
She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Not gonna lie, I wish I could narrate like other decks because holy fuck. Girl in Missouri doesn't care about both of the game. I wish you want to save it. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zarya. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Nah, I don't have the talent for that one. Like, she's actually been long in this game and studying these things, and she's like a true detective for this shit. I'm literally just an interactable NPC in a friend's fucking campaign. About it. What about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see if I can get to it someday. Even just getting into a game is pretty, like, super hard. It's an intriguing idea, but it's very hard. Sacrificing your soul to save the city was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your arm? In the battle? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world, or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. We'll return to the subject later. I understand. Uh, you must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst, and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. You miss your father? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. All right, well, we're done with that conversation. Come, there are important we're having a position of response. Yeah, he's actually kind of got a bit of a shitty situation. Oh, Helen. I barely moved. Isabel. Yo. My love, you were dead. Oh, we get a cute I saw scene. Your body. I'm here. And and so are you. And my father, he he can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. 
but for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? This is such a wholesome little moment. I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. The crack store, interesting. I wonder how that was there. Like, that has got to be an interesting side thing. Nope. <laughs> I was almost about to say, listen, you got a whole party of adventurers in the same oh, room as you. There you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later. Now, are we gonna end up with a whole crowd of people just randomly hanging out in the camp? And yeah, I kinda already figured out you were his daughter, so I'm not gonna bother answering that. You're most welcome. We look forward to it. Just please don't bang on the you table there, at kitchen tables. By the fires of your camp's hearth. We will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies <laughs> and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. <laughs> well, I guess doing it on the kitchen table is not... <laughs> Doing it on the kitchen table apparently was not something that was a joke. Apparently that's gonna happen. Please not the table. <laughs> not the table. Any anywhere but the table. Oh, house of mine. What do you, you have to prevailed, say? My friend. Now your path takes you to Baldur's Gate. Hey, goddess. But I cannot join you. Out there the curse still thrives. I failed this place. Now I must remain behind and stand watch over it. The same. I had hoped I might have been able to stay by your side to help however I could. The fact that they were working on something like but that, the though. The father has spoken. <laughs> My place is here. If literally the fact that they decided to upgrade the yeah, like all name. Just, it's just funny as get out. What the hell? And sir, come back. Here. Wait a minute. Yeah, everything I'm basically did wrong and one I'm trying to do better in my Cursed solo playthrough so everything. i'm literally going the ticular stuff try and get them done and do because i know there's a lot of stuff that i kind of missed and skipped out i already know but it's fine we'll figure it out I think oh, thank you. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. Hmm. Oh, it could just be me that's speaking a little softly. You know what? I could turn up my in just general. Wait, is it Cutting out for everyone, or just for you? Alright, is that any better? 
like I've pushed up my mic volume quite a bit now. So let's hope that this helps. That the cutoff isn't going to be a thing. Yeah, getting the audio for this mic figured out is so much different. <laughs> Louder for sure. I think the reason for that is just the cutoff point. I know what it is for the Audio Technica. I'm not so sure what it is for this one. So trying to find that sweet spot for where the cutoff is, is different. Could be the fan that you guys were picked up. So I've gone back down to my previous audio. Let's see what happens. Otherwise, you know what? I might just swap this one out with the Audio Technica because it seems that one had less issues with getting volume correct than this one does. It's very different. I don't think it's so much as a pop filter as it's just things are different with this one. Like the Audio Technica I've had for a lot of years so I know inside out. You know what? I gotta know. Give me a second. Oh, that's that's gonna be pain to switch. Your mic is sounding like a mine does when it's being sensitive. There's like a Okay, is the buzzing gone now? Because remember I changed the volume again. If there is a slight buzzing, it could just be picking up the fan noise in the background because it's hot as balls and I'm trying not to die. Yeah, I got a night. Give me a second. Alright, is that going to be better? I don't know, like I said, I know my Audio Technica inside out. I don't know the road as well. So that is going to be a problem. I might just switch back to the Audio Technica and use the road. Oh, is it fine now? Barely noticeable? Dude, this is still gonna bother me though. I think I'll switch back to the Audio Technica tomorrow. Because I didn't have the same shit with that one. Oh. Here, babe.
All right, you little bastards, we're back in the OG. We're back in the Audio Technica. The other one is lying on the ground. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'll take care of it at some stage. How does it sound? Okay. So, the reason I think that might be is the Audio Technica, I don't know that one as well as I do the road. So, I think what I might end up doing is I might actually just use the road on the gaming PC then just for proximity, which is kind of a waste considering how much nicer that mic actually is, but that's fine. That's fine. I know this one inside out, I can troubleshoot things pretty quick with this. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, this was not how I expe expected to spend the first few minutes of my stream, but hey. We learn. Yeah, I still can't find that sweet spot on the road, though. I might have to ask Mama, because she's also got one. I might have to ask her what her stuff looks like, because she's got the exact same one that I have. Or honestly, I like the sound of the Audio Technica more. Then I do the road. Like, the road sounds much clearer. But the Audio Technica to me has a little bit, little bit of a more rounded sound, if that makes any sense. So I might just stick with this setup. I'll just swap the arms again tomorrow. Yeah, it's clarity, but it's also kind of like, I feel like... Again, this one just has more of a full-bodied sound, like just more rounded out. And the other one kind of sounds clear but sharp, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so again, personally I kind of like this one more. So I'll stick with this one. Just, we're gonna deal with this for today. All the squeaking. Don't mind, don't mind the squeaky arm. We'll figure it out. So we'll stick with this one then. And we'll use the road for voice proximity games. Yeah, I think that's going to be the run from now on. Well, I'll do the sorting out of cables and everything tomorrow. It's fine. Okay. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, okay. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Um, I know, that's why I just recruited Jahira. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Hmm. Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. Alrighty. The road to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces. Good thing we found this earlier. We have to move. Yeah, like I said, on my solo run that I'm currently doing on my own. Jesus, that squeak. Hello? <clears throat> well, that's something. Uh, I don't know why it still keeps me this, but it's fine. Um, on my solo run, I'm basically fixing all of this crap that I didn't do this run. 
So that's already going to be quite interesting to see how that's going to end up. No shit an army marshal year. What did you think? Yep, let's go. I said that in my solo run, I'm trying to com accomplish everything that I didn't finish in this one. Or that I wasn't able to do in this one. I'm trying to do in the solo run. Oh, by the way, I figured out why the romance thing didn't pop up in this one. Uh, I fucked up. I didn't add it to this run. So it's not my solo run. I never added the fucking mod. That was me just being a fucking doofus. Don't worry about it. Wait a minute, where is Aelin and Isabel? Weren't I supposed to talk to them? Oh, okay, I guess they're this way. At least the, yeah, the party thing still works out fine. What do you know about me? The fucking blood. You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. <clears throat> I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His hey, inflicted Zeke. on me. How you when doing I today? laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Have a good lurk. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Your Let's see. joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. I almost feel like this is going to be another character that I remember from the original games. You remember that it is a common right among Saluna's followers to send their children off into the woods to find their way home. Perhaps this time it had gone awry. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Alright, let's go help. Your parents <coughs> are with your abductors. 
You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. The Spear of Night? I thought it was cast into the Shadowfell. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. It hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. Hey, big boy. How you doing? You take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's actually... <laughs> that is actually kind of better. Dark vision, weapon enchantment, moonbeam. Holy shit. Sunbeam. Oof. We got a few options here. You know, kind of for the whole story thing, I want to give this to her. Just for the whole story continuity and everything, I'll give that to her. Alright. I saw the DLC. I was like, oh, that's going to be interesting. Fun thing, though. I only saw Mikola. I'm very curious. Very curious. Okay, we have you that want to talk to us. Back it comes out in like three to. Hey, nice. You'll have to confide in someone else. What? I'm spoken for. <laughs> Wait, what? First in my heart. There's little I can say to you, I'm afraid. <laughs> what? 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 Confused. Hold on, let's see what happens if we leave camp. Rick is defeated. The path ahead clear. You should be elated. The sight of a land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Though however deep your pain, it cannot compare to Halson's. That was extremely confusing. Like, okay. I f feel confused. Very much so. My eyeballs, thank you. Oh, sup, fucker. regions i think that's what that's all about here can pb sergeant if you are here i presume worms rock is secure and preparations for my inauguration are complete no lord gortash we were interrupted another quake in the lower city more severe this time so you came cowering to my chambers i'm flattered sergeant but even i cannot command natural phenomena to cease forgive me my lord but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. 
I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following. Oh, that's Oren. And and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be with you. To split your skin. Wow. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Derek, that one is a hard pass on the Smasher Pass. What do you mean? Oh. <clears throat> oh god, my nose is so itchy. I mean, taking my fucking sinus mess because my nose is itchy as shit. Beyond the campsite, the city she has issues. More than fucking silence. issues at this point. Not gonna lie. Yo. You know it's terrible? Thank you. Good thing not wanting to open. All the random ass moaning people do when they climb up and down ladders. God damn. Time to press ahead. Okay, so a Starian wants to talk? Eh. Not in the mood to talk to a Starian, but okay. We'll do it and get it over with. Gate is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperial soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master and elevate him to an unfathomable state. Okay. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. <laughs> well, do you think we can defeat him? Are we strong enough? We will kill him, but there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. This may be a beginning, not an end. I can see myself now. Lord. King. Master. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. I don't know, Raphael said the ascension was lethally diabolical. <laughs> Doesn't it sound delightful? 
for the lucky little vampire on the winning side. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I think I deserve something better. Freedom is not the same as power. Hmm. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Cazador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. Hmm. Promise to help you stop Kazador and won't promise anything else. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. Oh, goody, I've always wanted to find a vampire. First. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Kazador's change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. Wow, this is actually a pretty big fucking place, yo. Who says that scale? Oh, this is such a huge ass place as well. Eh? Oh, hi, Withers. Hi, Withers. Yeah, he's pretty cool for a character. But I can see power corrupting someone like him extremely easily because of how his life has basically gone and been. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty neat camp. I like it. Oh, those two are having fun. All right, let's see what old woman Jahira has to say. Mm, I want to have a word. Shadowheart has found a little bit of herself again. I have so a soft spot for a He's he's she a great character. He is a good character. It's just I can't see power thing. being a good path for him. Now we're traveling together. I realize I don't know much about you, but I do remember everything about you about the two previous games. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Is it true that you fought the Dead Three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books, or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? <laughs> Please, you're only one of those things. Don't tell me which. <laughs> Against all life experience, I will choose to assume the best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> it still blows my mind that they got the original fucking actor to play as Jihiro again. That was awesome. Oh. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god. But an elder brain controlled by the chosen of the dead three they mean to use it to take control of the sword coast all who carry the tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the chosen it will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers this would have been your fate too were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it 
With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? <clears throat> will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? The fact that they give you this, like, already is interesting. Ooh. Ooh. When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hmm, definitely interesting. You're under attack. Help me. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Escape to the portal before the absolute takes control. Oh, it's up there. Three turns? Holy, okay. Poor fucker. Oh Christ, he's gonna be all the way back here. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, this could be bad because all of the people are back there. Oh, this could be terrible. You are really annoying, you know that. I need your help. No rest. Be your wicked or wise. Oh, this is terrible. The number of people that I gotta move up and inwards is annoying Certainly. oh one bitch less My soul. Let's go. My turn. Oh, 
Oh, my nose is so fucking itchy, dude. Why? Actually, proned him. Come quickly. I can't do this without you. Yeah, yeah, it ain't easy getting all the way over there, you know. On my way. I will ascend. Well, okay, well, never mind, that made life a lot easier. Look, I ain't a fan of those little bastards, but they seem to be good in this case. About the others? A tale for the ages. Interesting. Am I kind of stuck? Well, fuck. Not if that's the case. That's just troll. Yeah, sure. Let's let you keep the bejesus out of you at least. Didn't no help at all. <laughs> Fucking finally. It's 
not over. Come to the skull. Ah, damn, they really did not like my ass. What a charmer. Motherfucker. Oh, well, you don't have any HP. We're just gonna drop those on you. Hurry. I can't hold them back alone. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm not even sure where the fuck I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Oop. It's not over. Come to the skull. Wee. Come, come, children. Hmm. Indeed, Mind Flayer. What the hell is happening? The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. Prove to me that you are who you say you are? You saved a child from a viper back in the druid's grove. You saved the Asuma Night Song from her soul cage. You let me live last time you were here, though it brought Blackheath's wrong upon you. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind player should be all proof. Help me. Sure, why not? Oh, okay. Yes. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the mind flare's awareness is everywhere. <laughs> you blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. You must be joking. I am telling you my <laughs> thoughts directly into your head. But if you insist on taking a look for yourself, <laughs> hey, we gotta guest. do it. Nothing in your colorful existence to date could have prepared you. I'm glad for this. I was, <laughs> it was definitely interesting, that's for sure. Hey, I had to try. That was funny as I was like, really? Seriously, you're gonna fucking do this? <laughs> Join me. Fight. <laughs> oh, that's definitely. <laughs> oh man, that was a good one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Together, we can turn the tide. <laughs> okay, that was that was unexpected. <laughs> That was fucking unexpected. <laughs> uh, as much as I want to toss that, it's going to hit the mind. The intellect devourers. I, I don't want to hit the intellect devourers. The problem is when you encounter a benevolent mind flare, it's hard to believe it. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, fuck you, dude. You're in the way. Well, not quite. It's 
it's gonna be hard for Carlac to get there unless she takes a massive leap. Come on. There you go. <clears throat> Ooh. Like the amount of damage they do though is insane. Uh, then again, I guess that's monk for you. Is definitely treated a lot better here than Sabletop for the most part. I wonder though, because on Critical Role, not to be like weird or anything, but on Critical Role, they she seemed overpowered as fuck when Marisha was playing as a monk. Ooh. Can you do that again? Ah. Well, you're almost dead, so it's not that bad. Can you hop closer? Hell yeah. Poke. Oh, how could you miss the poke? Destroy Why? The honor guard. <clears throat> you just had to destroy the... Oh, fucking hell. They usually do the house for this one. Ah, ooh. Oh, there we go. That always works. Uh, Astarian? Yes, you're gonna use your little sharp arrow. I literally just had my jaw drop. I was like, oh. You have been my pillar for archery this whole time, you bitch. And now you flub. Ugh. Uh oh. That hurt. Some of slow, but that hurt. Fine, so now we know. Fucking Astarian's got performance anxiety. Am I am not surprised by this? Back. Well, come on. You you gotta save this. Thank fuck. The problem with my spells is a lot of them are area spells, and it is not gonna do it could be good. Hold on. Oi, how do you feel about a little bladed weather? Well, at least him being prone is making my life kind of easier. Oh, there's more of them over here, I think. Huh? No? Three left with the one in the middle. Yeah. Stun skin. Anime dead. Bone chill, but I think I. Oh, I don't need to be. Gonna let's cast it on him. Yo, leopard! Why did that not go off? Oh, because I was a doofus. Don't mind me. How you doing, leopard? How's life? How's life? Sorry, the raid sound didn't catch my attention i apologize but how are you hope you're doing good hope you're doing well and welcome in now for everyone accompanying the bunny i hope you enjoy your time in horny jail i hope you have fun with us and please don't drill holes in the walls don't don't believe what any of these other little bastards tell you about drilling holes in the walls we don't we don't do that no 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 vandal tell Ooh. i saw you were mentioning that earlier how was it Hope you had a fun time. Can you not keep doing the resonating key thing? Oh, this is not gonna be good. Silly Hardy. I'm doing fine, really happy that- Ah. I can imagine, I can imagine. Yo, at least jumping here is busted. Only use the pre-drilled holes, they have been rubbed smooth. Why? No! Uh, disgusting. Let's end this. Yeah, can I, can I poke you? 
Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Shadowheart. You are surprising me. So fucking cute and good. It's mostly a game to chill, honestly. So I'm going to debate if I'm going to keep streaming. Ah, uh, no, I get that. I get that. I'm glad you're having a good time with it. Definitely a game you can get addicted to. Nice. You might actually die pretty quickly if you can s if you stay in there. You stay in there. Stay. Stay. Be a good little geese Yankee. And stay. Just just stay. We don't need you moving anywhere. Uh burn? There we go. Yeah, something I've noticed with this game is the longer you play, it kind of uh, gets stuck, I guess. How did you miss? Uh, what? Uh, I... Don't even have words for that. What? This is the sound of me being in utter, complete fucking disbelief that. What the f fuck is happening? How? how? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'm at this point, I'm just like, f just fucking do it. Uh. Yeah, so one of those games that you will enjoy on your own, but maybe not that entertaining to talk about because it's so simple. Okay, they aren't just dropping balls, they're fucking losing it. Oh, you whore, I forgot he is. <sighs> okay. How many resistances do you fucking have? Just psychic. What? What? Why? I don't understand what is happening here right now. Oh, thank you. Fucking finally, someone did something to you. Jesus Christ. Please kill the bitch. Come on, shit. You know what? I'm I'm so over this bastard up here. Anyway, I'm starving, so I'm gonna lurk. No worries, no worries. You take care of Lapin and you have a good one. Look after yourself. Just fucking toast you and get it over with. I prefer the other version of you. You know what? You were in the prison all this time. Why did you deceive me? It was necessary. Rare are those that would openly consider a partnership with a mind flayer. Even those who are on a path of becoming one. I was someone once. Someone just like you. Uh, An adventurer. Eyes. I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance, I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now.
Oh, goody. For years, I said the elder brain. The one you know as the absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmay. We formed a partnership. And through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People refer to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. <coughs> until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Lord Gortash was one of the chosen in the colony. Indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall. So, tell me what this battle was about. We fought to tame Exorpheus, <clears throat> the son of Gith herself. Oh, that explains a lot. Exorpheus? Impossible. He was slain by Gistil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself queen of the Well, that explains a lot. Blacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my home on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Hmm. Was it you or Orpheus that Vlacketh wanted us to kill when she ordered us inside the prison? That's a good question. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Vlacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was in prison. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. This explains a lot about Blacketh. I mean, she's an asshole, but this explains quite a bit. Were you in prison here too? No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the astral prison. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other chosen learned of its existence 
I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt it change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. I like that they're kind of uh, letting you choose stuff. What happens if you're free, Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, he feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid. A sworn enemy, just like me. Hmm. <laughs> the more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind flare. Kind of true. I appreciate that. But this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid ship you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. No thanks, you know, there was a whole, uh, tentacle thing. Kind of puts me off. Why do you say that? I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle. Oh I'll wow, so you can already turn into one? Independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. Uh, no, no, no way. I understand. <laughs> let us hope that like, no, no way. <laughs> be sufficient to deal with. And a giant magically enhanced elder brain. But in case you change your mind. Wow. Very <laughs> tentacles. Look after it. Use it when you're ready to evolve. You or your allies. It has vitality enough for you all. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. <laughs> I can avoid it from either side. Hey, fishy. The army marches to follow. We must not let them. How you doing, fishy? We must find the brain and bring it under our control. <clears throat> <laughs> and for easy payments, oh God. Got to press on. Looking ahead. Yeah, sure. Let's see what these guys had. Oh. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Why not? Open up. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Damn. This has been one hell of a fight. Oh, it doesn't me. seem like there's much on the bodies. Or the old bodies, at least. Yeah, no, it seems like there isn't much. It's fine. Get out of here. Yep. I'm fine so far. Oh, 
Well, okay. Apparently I can just go in and out now. That's the thing. Please don't take that line out of context. I want evolution and <laughs> keep the second at half price. <laughs> I know, right? I need. All right, let's see what she has to say about this. It's not the Geek visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. A mighty powerful prince if he can block out an illicit hive mind. And even more powerful still. It said he could bring a thousand Githyanki to their knees with one command. Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the No, nope, I'm not saying it again, Fishy. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the hells to secure an alliance with the archdevil Tiamat. <coughs> Tiamat hmm. gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Interesting. 157, that's a lot of Vlakiths. Yes. Our current Queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was... is... Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. And then Voss was right. Orpheus is the seed of Lacus' demise. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Mm. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Geich slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Hmm. Well, looks like we're killing a we're killing a mind flare later. <sighs> this is gonna be a rough. Anyone else up for talking? No one? Wait, do we actually just rest or can we get the fuck out of here now? Oh no, I'm I'm gonna never mind, I'm gonna rest. I need them slot I need them slots back, peeps. <sighs> okay. Let's see where we go. See how this goes. We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Appreciably cared for boots. Fascinating. In the backpack. Oh hell, I'll take that. Have what's in this one? Nope. This one? 
Hell yeah. Yeah, sure, we'll take the boots. Why not? Oh. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. Hmm. Where did you last see her? She was... Um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Mm. Let's go find a guard. Guards blow like petards. They don't help us. Yeah, she's dead. You know what? Let's give him some food. Wow. Thanks. My mom would like this. She's the best cook in the world. And she taught me too. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Is that a fox? Oh, it's a cat. Never mind. What is even happening around here? We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Oh. Really there now. You can see the city. Cheap and ship. Cheap and ship for just right kid. Fuck. Uh-huh. What is even happening? What the fuck? Rivington? Oh, where is this? Okay, so that's to find Voss. Any other stuff that I can do? What in the hells was that? Whatever it is doesn't bode well. Hmm. Why is Carlac all the way back there? This whole situation stinks. For some reason, she's completely disconnected from the group. Let's go see what's happening. What? What, fishy? What did I do? I didn't do anything. What do you mean? Why the hell? Carlac, get back here. Yeah, she's she's looking at something probably. What? Why? The shiny's cool to her. It's one way of looking at it. Okay, so I'm guessing that is this the main road or turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Uh why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the Steel Watch intervened. Steel Watch? Is that some sort of fancy new rank of City Watchmen? <laughs> A little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. Hmm. Yeah, probably. 
Let's see if what happens. Is the sort of place I'd wait okay. See if we can find what you're looking for. Wait, you want to talk to Shadowheart? Back off and return to your homes. That's an order. Is that him? Must have been a crowd of normal people. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bets that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. Our hearts bleed for you. Get to the point. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has Our Lady forsaken you? Well, let's let Shadowheart handle it. I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are, and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Though, if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after all. Hmm. Oh, hold on. I have something to ask. Back off and return to your homes. Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Okay. I just wanted to find out what the hubbub was, but okay. Oh, this place is going to be confusing. All right. Hmm. They're going to tell me where the house of grief is? No, it's not. Wonderful. Oh, hey. There's Zoru. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. I, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. Hmm. Okay. Hold breath. That's a name. I have questions and I don't think I want answers. Moving on. It's a lot of dead chickens. keep playing this my brain is very fucking tired so who's up for hunt like i love the game and everything but my brain is not in peak functioning condition right now it's literally one of those cases i want to keep playing 
but it's like I'm struggling to keep my attention here. It's not gonna be a 13 hour stream, what do you mean? Heat fizzled it out. Yeah, no, it's just I'm very, very tired. So it's more a case of as much as I want to play right now and keep going with the story, I can't focus on the story. I'm just extremely tired. But it's that kind of tired where even though I'm exhausted, as soon as I go to bed, I'm just going to keep rolling around the whole time. Do the burrito dance. Teddy! Teddy! And? Hey, you ho! I have ways of getting answers. If that works. Oh, stabbing that up. Maybe he's in a match. Yeah, I sent him a message. I'm like, hunt? See how long before I get a reply. He's gonna go play League. Every last blood sucker. They spread like nothing less. So we should do nothing. Just wait for the next wave. I share your fear. We cannot be abandoned. We will have to act for all our sakes. Let's see, Ash is away. Let's see if I can get an answer out of him. He says he can play in an hour. I will be right back while I switch games. And I'll see you in a second. <laughs> 